Our first task is to calculate the terminal angular velocity for the system. Oops. And since we have this nice equation for it, it's pretty easy to figure out. So, terminal velocity. The terminal velocity occurs when an omega is constant. And omega is constant, of course, when there is no angular acceleration. So looking at the equation that we've got, if the angular acceleration is zero, the third term drops off entirely. And we just have it 25 minus this expression with the angular speed is equal to zero. So rearranging things a little bit, what that gives us is 0 0.0256 omega squared is equal to 25. Solving for that, we get that omega is equal to 25 over 0 0.0256 and take the square root. So plugging that into the calculator, our terminal angular velocity is 31.25 radians per second. The next part, or the final thing that we're trying to find out here, is the angular acceleration and motor power at a speed of 20 radians per second. If you recall, at the beginning we said that 20 radians per second has to be less than the terminal velocity or it doesn't make much sense. So, again, going back to this equation, if we have a speed of 20 radians per second, we should be able to solve then for alpha. There's only one unknown. So, rearranging things a bit, what we find out is alpha is equal to 25 minus 0 0.0256 times that speed of 20 radians per second squared divided by 18.5. See if I did that right. Looks like it. So let's try this out. 25.0256 20 squared and we get an angular acceleration of 0. 797 seven radians per second squared. The last part of the question is what power is being developed by the electric motor at a speed of 20 radians per second? And one big thing that you should remember from the scores for later life is that power, at least in the mechanical sense, is equal to torque times speed speed in radians per second. So, we know that the electric motor is generating 25 newton meters, and the speed of concern is 20 radians per second. So 25, 500, and the units are in newton meters per second which, if you go back and check, is equal to watts. Just to get that maybe in terms that are a little bit more familiar, there's 746 watts per horsepower, so this is about equal to 7 tenths of a horsepower. That concludes the problem. I hope that everybody was able to stay awake during it, and have a wonderful Halloween.